motion carries. Thank you very much, Mr. Adams. Next on the agenda, we have concerns of our Mayor Pro Temp, uh, Pearson. Mayor Pro Temp, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mm -hmm. As I stated in the work session, um, I will reserve my comments regarding the complaint that was um, filed by myself on behalf uh, to the Coffee County NAACP. Uh, I will reserve them for the regular meeting in which I am now doing. And for the record, Madam Clerk, uh, I want this complaint to be made a part of the official minutes for this meeting. Now, as you, uh, uh, no, just my, my, my verbal, Okay. because okay. I think Mr. President presented you all with the written letter at this meeting. So on this date, I'm doing a verbal complaint that I would like to be added to what has already been stated. Um, before I get started, I want to, first of all, because Mayor, I heard you say to Mr. Adams, uh, or, or say to Mr. Presley, correct me, that um, personnel cannot be talked about in an open meeting. So, Mr. Adams, I need that to be clarified for me because I recall a personnel issue some years back involving one of our city employees, and we chose to take that issue inside of executive session, and we received an order from the Superior Court of Coffee County saying that we had violated law. What that involved was uh, bringing into the executive session an outside party that was present during the executive session. And if I remember correctly, whatever action was taken during that executive session was set aside. Right. It, it was. So, so then, in, in doing that, bringing someone into the executive session, how were we to discuss the matter? if we didn't do it in executive session. Because we did it in executive session. But I'm, I'm referring to what the mayor stated in terms of not discussing personnel matters in the open meeting. So I want some clarification. All right, the purpose, the purpose of going into executive session to discuss personnel matters is for the commission only. It is not to take testimony from any outside parties concerning any personnel. Okay. So it is proper to go into the executive session and discuss personnel, uh, personnel matters. However, it is improper to bring in a third party in that executive session to discuss a third party. Right. But so in our regular open meeting like we are in now, we can talk about personnel. If you so choose. Thank you. So I just wanted to get that clear that we are not violating the law to discuss this issue. Which brings me to my complaint that I filed with the NAACP of Coffee County approximately two weeks or so ago. On November the 4th, 2016, I received a copy of an incident report dated October the 31st, 2016, where a certain elected official had been involved in an incident with a Douglas police officer. It was disclosed to me that the officer was, was going to issue a citation to the commissioner for two offenses. But however, I was informed that the officer was told by his superiors that he was not to issue the citation to the commissioner and it would be, it would be best if that incident report was destroyed. I disclosed this information to city manager Terrell Jacobs and he informed me that he was aware of the incident and that he had informed Chief Castellos that if Mayor Pro Tem Pearson learned of this, it would be a problem. Well, Mayor Pro Tem Pearson did learn of this, and there is a problem. There is not only a problem because of the discriminatory manner in which Mayor Pro Tem has been treated, but because the citizens of Douglas, Georgia, deserve better and more professional services than a cover-up. And in my opinion, that's exactly what has happened. I can assure you, had this been a regular citizen or Mayor Pro Tem Pearson, if I had disobeyed what the officer had stated for me to do, or a regular citizen had disobeyed, then that officer would have proceeded behind me or the other regular citizens. Our citizens deserve fair treatment 
and more importantly, they deserve transparency in the law, not a cover up. Upon learning of the various information, I requested that this mayor and this commission have an investigation to conduct, conduct it to find the truth. Needless to say, the vote went three in favor of the investigation and three not in favor of an investigation. Go figure. Now, I am appalled at the actions of this mayor and council because I feel like we have a responsibility to do the right thing. Now, it could be said, well, we don't know that there is a cover-up, but that's right, we don't know. But it appears to be because several sources have came to me and stated that the officer was told he was not going to issue the citation. And when he did issue it, after I found out about the report, I went and got the report, and at that point, 10 days later, a citation was issued, but it was not issued for what the original charge was, which was you cannot proceed down that road, and the person chose to proceed down that road anyway. It was issued for not parking behind the officer's car. I am concerned about this because, in my opinion, such matter is, is very minute. That's a small matter. I'm concerned that if we'll bother to try to cover up for a commissioner who disobeyed the law, what would happen if it was something more serious? Now, Ms. McNeil, Commissioner McNeil, you sat here at that last meeting and you stated to Commissioner Moore that he did, in fact, tell you that he had went down the road the officer said not to go. Commissioner Dern has, has confirmed that he heard you say that. Miss City Clerk Wynetta Boulder has confirmed that she heard you say that. Ma'am, go ahead. My understanding from Commissioner Moore was that he turned around and went the other way. That's not what no? you stated in okay. our last meeting. Okay. Uh, that's not what you stated. Okay. And it's been confirmed by others up here okay. that you did tell him. You said it twice. Commissioner Moore, you told me that you went down the road that the officer told you not to go down. You said that twice, Miss McNeil. Okay. But we're not going to argue about that. I misunderstood. We're not going to argue about that. That's fine. That, that pastor who was asked to come here tonight, he was asked to come here for a reason. And what he spoke on had to come from God. Because like he said, it's not to be on one person to, to do what's right. It's on this whole council. And if you all do not want to take and look into what's happening, because we have several issues going on, and, and we all know it. We all know it. The high turnover rate, the discrepancies in how, how different people are treated, and I'm just to the point, I'm sick and tired of it. I am really sick and tired of it, but I can assure you, you all say you're going to get Mr. Presley uh, something in writing. That's correct. Not only to Mr. Presley, you get me something in writing because I made the complaint. I know you're going to do it to the whole council, but see, the point is, it should not have taken this long. It should not have taken two weeks ago, and then for him to have to come back. We should have already had something. We should have already had something. But to those of you who do, did not agree to try to launch an investigation into what's going on, if there is something wrong, then you all are at fault. And I tell you, the citizens of Douglas needs to demand your resignation if you're not going to uphold the seats that you're holding, you don't need them. You don't need them. But I'm tired. I am tired. I assure you, I am tired. And this is not the last of this. This is not the last of it. This commission had the authority to do an investigation to get down to the truth. But if you're scared, you don't need to be sitting up here. That's my complaint. I rest my case for now, but that's not the end of it. I will continue to move forward to the GBI, to the FBI, ACLU, wherever I need to go into this matter. Don't sit there nodding your heads at me, uh, Mr. Attorney, because you sat there and you heard Miss Cindy say that and you didn't say anything to her at that last meeting. You didn't address it. Nobody addressed it but me when I said, really. It wasn't my place to address it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Boyd? Well, what she's saying is an untruth. Um, I did go, and the officer said it was standing there. He stopped, and I live around the corner there. And he told me to turn to the right. I said, do you know who I am? 
He said, I most certainly know who you are. And I said, well, me and you and the chief will have a talk Monday. So I turned, me and my wife, see, he didn't see her in there. I turned and went the way he originally told me. But the reason I told him that was, is the attitude he had, he had his wife out there with him, which is inappropriate. But I did never tell him I was going on down that road. I'm not stupid. And I haven't been indicted for anything. And you have. And you're talking about me. Uh, no, 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 excuse me. We, we, we would not have any character assassination. You address Mr. Moore. I offered Mr. Moore an opportunity mm -hmm. to respond. He has responded. So we, we're not going to have a back and forth tonight. No, we're not. But okay. I'm going to address what he said about the indictment since mm -hmm. he brought it up. That he did. I, mm -hmm. I do agree to that. Mm -hmm. Mayor Pro <coughs> You finished? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's back to the Mayor Pro Yes, sir. Uh, matter of fact, Commissioner Moore, you stated about an indictment. Well, the indictment was not pertaining to the stop that I got out on on November 2015. Now, when I got out of my car, 2015, November the 5th, it was because I was concerned for the life of some people, what was going on, what was wrong. I saw a young lady standing on the sidewalk, as I have said numerous times, but well, see, had the city of Douglas Police Department afforded me what they afforded you, that would never have been on social media sites. It would not have ever been on Channel 10 News. It would have never been on Douglas Scanner. But you see, I was not afforded that for whatever reason. I got out, I saw a young lady on the sidewalk to ask her what was happening. As soon as I approached her and said, what's happening, honey? By that time, the officers began saying, go back to your car, ma'am. I began backing up, going back to my car upon them stating that. That's what I did. Even though I complied and went back to my car, it was sent to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to investigate me to try to bring some charges against me. The GBI found no wrongdoing in what I did because I went back to my car like the officer instructed me. So the indictment that has come about came about afterwards. After they were not able to pin that on me, they came up with some fraudulent myths about helping people to vote. People have always helped people to vote. Just letting you know a little history of it. Because the fact of the matter is certain people in this community do not approve of me sitting in this seat. But those people who don't approve are the ones who do not live in my district. So to clarify with you, since you're talking about an indictment, that's just a motive to get me out of this seat that I sit in, like some of you would really like to see happen. So that's what that's all about. Nothing to do with not complying with what the officer said. The indictment is about helping people to vote, since you chose to bring that up. But like I say, I was not afforded the opportunity. When you got your ticket that you got, it stated under investigation. That night I got out of my car, it was not allowed to be under investigation. It was immediately, immediately sent to the media to scandalize my name and bring, try to bring shame on me. But there's no shame to be brought because I did nothing wrong. Had I not complied to the officer, I would have been at fault and I would have been arrested. You didn't comply. And you know you didn't comply. You told several people that you went down the road, the officer told you not to go down, and so has that officer. So what I want to know is why has his statement changed? He's been forced to change his statement, which would have been revealed if we did an investigation. But one will get done. But I just think I need to respond to that about Agreed. an indictment. Agreed. Thank you. But I went down the road he told me to. I never told him that I was going up the road because he said the road is closed. But it wasn't because there was people coming from that way toward me. And I, and I did go down the road and he never told me to stop. He was going to write any windows in there that's not true. Okay. But I did not. So basically I did not disobey him because I did go the way he told me to go. Outstanding. Uh, I will afford an opportunity uh, 
Mr. Roper, you have any comment? No. Commissioner Darth, do you have any comments? Commissioner McNeil? I'm still confused about which way you went, and I'm sorry. Okay. I, I no really problem. am. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you have any comments? Mm -hmm. I do have to say for the record that I'm not scared of anybody in this room or anybody in this city. And I'm up here to do my job, and I will do it the best I see fit. You can count on it and take it to the bank. All right. Outstanding. Next, we have on the agenda, we have the items on the consent agenda. And Mr. City Manager, we Motion carries. Next, on the agenda, we have the minutes. Anyone care to start that discussion? Mm -hmm. oh. we, we actually have two sets of minutes. Yes, we do. Okay, so That's right. I offer the motion that uh, we approve the minutes from the December, November the 28th City Council meeting. Which one? Do that in November. November 28th. 28th. Yeah, November 28th. Mm -hmm. So th those were the ones that were tabled last meeting. Mm -hmm. So actually two. Right. So okay. I requested that my my comments be removed. So I'm not I'm not in favor of that. What I call for the vote, I'm not in favor of that. One. Okay, I'm I'm confused. You re what, what's your request? What, I say what comments on those on those minutes during your your discussion. I didn't want any of my comments in there. I did not say for the record. You were not commenting. Right, you were not commenting. Mm -hmm. I was stating, this is what I was stating. Mm -hmm. So you want to prove that? You're offering a motion to prove that? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Say again? I did remove yours, it was just hers. And oh, you removed mine? Oh, I'm good. Everyone, you know, um, okay. who had comments, I contacted them. So, okay. so what was removed then? His is anything under your agenda item? But you can't remove what I'm stating. I if I remove what you say, I remove what he said. If he's made any comments, I remove what he said. If yeah. the man made any comments, then you remove him. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, yeah. And I requested I you that. remove mine also. So she Say removed again. all my com She removed my comments. Because they don't have to be recorded. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yes, sir. Anybody I understand. Anybody who had conversation with you during the time you said that you wanted them to be uh, placed in one of the agenda items, did you have any comments about that? Okay. So is that reflected in what you sent us to? Yes. Yeah. That, that their comments that yeah. their comments were removed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell me what page that's on. No, I just removed the minutes. You saying the place that ended, that's what you're asking me? Mm-hmm. No, they're just removed from out of here. They were just minutes were redone and so it would just come out of here. Okay, so where does the minutes show that their comments were taken out? That's what I'm asking. It's taken out. If if well, I just thought maybe if you all was if you read them you'll see that none of them at the were put in. They weren't placed in. Yeah. But for OP, she has initials bound, but there's no longer there. There's no names no longer there. Okay, so just give me a page and I'll follow you to show to see what if you're. You on page fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. The first seven minutes had she had everyone's initials by the conversation. So what we did, we just removed that whole com the conversation out. So you'll only see your initials along with the uh, city attorney's initials. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. So how does it reflect that their comments are not there? That's what I'm asking. I mean, we because if we if we did it verbatim. Because what happened is when you uh, if you approve these minutes because you you all tabled them. You didn't mm -hmm. say why you was tabling, tabling them. Right. You just say we're tabling minutes. Nobody gave me instructions on what. The only thing was told, the mayor came and said that I wanted mine removed. 
So I removed it from this from these minutes. Now what I could do because we're in discussion now mm -hmm. is that it will ref I will put it in these minutes. This this minute the, the ones that we're doing right at this yeah. moment and state what was removed from this from November twenty uh, November twenty eighth meeting mm -hmm. because we're in discussion with it. Okay. Or, or if you don't put it, just indicate that their Not comments go were taken in. out. Yeah. Go back in there. They just go just back put in it now. That the comments were removed. Yeah. yeah. Whose yeah. comments? Yeah. Were removed. Yeah. Mayor Polk and Miss Cindy. Yeah. 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 Comments were right. were removed from the minutes. We're good. Upon their request. Good. Good. But with this discussion the minute now, that'll go on the record. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I. I would, we could need to move on with that, that right. thing. Okay. Minute, we had enough so of that, man. we're good with that change. Yes, Are you good with that change? I'm fine. fine with that change. It's just saying that uh, X number or whoever comments were removed. Mm -hmm. Will you make that motion, please? Will somebody right. make the motion? Uh, for the motion that we approve the November the 28th uh, minutes, which were tabled from the last meeting, showing that uh, some of the mayor commission wanted their comments taken from the minutes. Second second it's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next, we have on the agenda. You got. We got to do 12. the next meeting now. Twelve. The December twelfth so meeting. Twelve. I thought that was in the consent. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So no, it wasn't in consent because they you had to review because mm -hmm. I had revised and put up. Put down. Okay. Request, what I, Mayor request something to be added, and I placed it at your stations. Mm -hmm. Something else to be added? What do we got to be added? What you got? What you got last time? What they passed out last meeting? It's still there. The email that she sent. The email that I there. sent out? Yes. <coughs> you got it last meeting. I'll offer the motion that uh, well, is, he's is reviewing it. it. Okay, go ahead. Is this is what was said, or is these just? That's my complaint. That is my complaint to be added to what I had already mm -hmm. sent in. That was the written complaint that I added. I thought we already had the written complaint. Mm -mm. Remember, Mr. Jacobs explained that uh, they couldn't capture it because it was not said at the meeting. Mm -hmm. They passed it out to everybody last meeting. He said that it couldn't be captured with what she had written already because it wasn't stated. So I said at the last meeting I wanted it to be added at the last meeting since it was not already captured. It's a little confusing, but that's that's how it went. I mean, if the motion is to add this email to the, I mean, this is not part of our meeting. That's this my complaint. I made a complaint. And I'm adding my email that I emailed, to, which added additional information. I'm adding it to my complaint. I'm not voting against it. Well, but you can't uh, vote against me complaining. That's my complaint. Uh, yeah, that's fine, but not this email. That's not part of our meeting. It was part of my complaint that I requested to be added to the meeting. I, I requested it at the, the last meeting. meeting. Show, hold up for a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I requested it at the last meeting. Do you have it, Miss City Clerk, where I stated at the last meeting that, that for that to be added? This is what you asked me to pull before we started the work session. Okay. Which you emailed, and I, I made a copy of it, passed it to everyone. Oh, no, no. I, I emailed you back and asked. At the last meeting, if you recall, I stated I wanted that to be added to my complaint. Right. This is the this is the this is the email I gave everybody last week. Right. That's but what I'm, I'm talking I'm, about. No, I'm asking you if, if you have it in the minutes. Did you make it a part I of the minutes? Right? minutes it's in red on this paper here. It says Mayor Pro Tim Pearson requested that the email she sent to Winetta J. Bo, the city clerk, and was given to the mayor commission to be added to the regular minutes as part of her complaint see attached. Okay. Because that's what you asked me to yes. put in the, in the minutes. So I mm -hmm. mean, that would be up to you all how you all vote for it. But. Mm. Mr. Roper, what, what are your comments? I don't have any comments on that, Mayor. I just vote to approve the minutes. Okay. <coughs> Last circuit. 
Okay. Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, well, I think I had started the motion. But anyway, I offer the motion, as I was saying, that we approve the minutes with the addendum that I had added from the last meeting of the email. That was presented at the last meeting. What do you got? Okay. Um, Mayor, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the amount of time and effort and energy and resources that have to go into documenting comments um, in a session where the city clerk has to uh, take everything verbatim. Um, having worked as deputy clerk, I know what this takes and um, I know how difficult this is. The burden of uh, responsibility um, and I think that from what all of my training, all of my former training, all of my legal uh, classes and everything state that our meeting and our minutes are to reflect action and should do no more than the action taken. The comments, I think Ms. Boulder allows for comments and she does a great job of summarizing those sometimes for us in here to, to make it so that we have a reflection to go back and look at at things but in her defense I, I really want to stand up for her in this and I want to say that I think that this could be ve become very very cumbersome if approved in this manner with all due respect Mayor Pro Tem I, I see where you're you know you, you want to document something or you want to do this but so if it's a meeting may concern not of be yours the, would you not want it documented um not not at that, that not during this session and during this time with this council what you mean not during this so, session well when, I, and when yeah I'm, I'm afraid I, I know your um your instance was with um, um law enforcement or with whatever that's not know, what this and, is pertaining to or with uh, Commissioner That's not what Moore this is pertaining and, to. Okay. I have a complaint okay. that I am bringing forward. Okay. I brought it forward but at the last have meeting. We ever, have we ever done complaints yes. in the Yes, minutes, I've been verbatim. here 17 years. And, and it's not verbatim. This is what I typed up and sent to her. That's not okay. what she typed up. And we've done that in the past before. For yes, it has been done. But okay. to clarify what you're saying about verbatim, she didn't do anything verbatim. Okay. I submitted this email to her. All she had to do was print it and attach it. Okay. Okay. So it's okay for us to put an attachment of anything we we deem important, Mayor, to this because that's the precedent we're setting here to be able to do that. If I type something and I send an email and I send it to Winetta, it will be in our legal it will if be a legal that, document if any whatever I want to put in there can go in there. If Is that you right, Mayor? Request that. Ms. McNeil, sure. Okay, okay. Yes, I just want to yes. be sure that that's the case. That's, uh, that's, uh, if, the council, if the council votes and okay. there's four votes to do that, okay. then that's what happens. Okay. All right. Okay. That's the precedent we're setting here. It's not the precedent. It's already been Ooh, done before. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Gow. I'm, agree I'm in agreement with Commissioner McNeil, and I understand, I think, the issues here. Um, and I, too, I respect Mayor Pro Tem, her right to disagree and issue a complaint. But my understanding coming in that uh, the object of the minutes here is to record the business that we do as a, as a city commission. The second problem is we've reviewed these same facts that she's got here, and you certainly have the right to disagree, but this is portrayed differently than what we were provided by the city, by the city attorney, by the city manager, and by the police department, as well as what Commissioner Moore stated to us as a, as a commission. What, what's portrayed differently? I, I'm not going to get into this tonight. I'm not going to get into all that. We've already been down that road, and you have a point and of I, view, and, I and, and the rest of us have another point well, of view. Hold on for I'm not finished talking. Oh, you go ahead. Um, so that's why 
I'm not in favor of, of the way this is portrayed down here. You spoke in front of the city commission, and that's been fully documented. Now it's like something has gone on and been added, and it's different from what the uh, all the sworn affidavits that we received. And I, I, I can't agree to that. So what are you stating that's different? What's different? I'm not having that discussion tonight. Because there's I'll nothing, be happy to talk there's, with you any other time, but I'm not going on record. That is different that. from you what just the affidavits show. But this has nothing to do about any affidavits. This is my complaint as to what happened that I am complaining about. Nothing to do with any affidavits. I'm ready to vote. Well, we've already we gotten it. Yeah. All the discussion has been concluded. We have a motion on the table. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Aye. What was that? Aye. Three Aye. Aye. <coughs> oh, that's to me. Then I vote against it. Not to add it. So you vote not, you vote to I'm not, add not to add my, my that's complaint right. to I'm, the I'm minutes. voting not to add that email. That did not happen which during is, the meeting. Which is my complaint. That okay. did not happen during the email. <laughs> so, during the email. I'm just trying those, to be that, clear. That, I have an email so here that I, I submitted as part done. of a complaint. The, 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 the vote, vote has been done. done. Okay. Vote has been done. Right. So I need a motion to approve the minutes minus the email. So move. Second motion. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? Well, I have discussion. Yes. That you all are violating law. And my complaint will be added one way or the <laughs> other. Mm -hmm. So I will read it into the record. Mayor Pro Tem Pearson stated, based on this information from the city attorney, there are no violations of the law to discuss this personnel matter, which we are considering in regular meeting. I wanted this clarified before Mayor Paul said we had to discuss it in executive session, but we don't. By the cover-up of a commissioner not abiding by the law, Mayor Pro Tem Pearson also stated that when she learned of the incident concerning Commissioner Moore, she contacted City Manager Jacobs and informed him of the incident, and he stated to her that he had learned of it a day or so ago from Chief Castellos, and he informed Chief Castellos if Mayor Pro Tem Pearson <coughs> learned of this, there is going to be a problem. This complaint is because I have been informed by several employees that the officer was told he was not going to issue Commissioner Moore a citation for the two offenses, and it was best that he destroyed the incident report. Since Mayor Pro Tem Pearson has disclosed all of this information, the officer has been forced to complete a false report stating that Commissioner Moore did proceed down the road he was previously instructed, which is untrue. Commissioner Moore stated to Commissioner McNeil, according to Commissioner McNeil in the executive session, that he did in fact go down the road the officer instructed him not to go down. Various employees have stated this as well. In addition, Mayor Paul and City Attorney Adams allowed Commissioner Moore to sit in at executive session and participate in a discussion regarding him, Commissioner Moore, and the incident of the police officer and an investigation being con conducted into the matter. There was a discussion in executive session regarding this matter, and the consensus of the group was three commissioners, Roper, Durham, and Pearson, in favor of the investigation, and three commissioners, Guy, McNeil, and Moore, not in favor of an investigation, with Mayor Tony Pope stating he was not going to do anything, not support for or against an investigation into the matter. So I read it into the record. Okay. All in favor? All right. That's not for no vote. No, no. Y'all already voted. No. no, that was you were discussing. <coughs> no, no, mm -mm. no, no. We we hadn't voted on the minutes without the uh, email. Okay. And okay. And then you you. So I read it. it. Right. Okay. And All I want that verbatim in the minutes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Aye. Can, I didn't vote. Can y'all please redo that? Please. Who all voted for? Voted for what? Make it clear, because I wasn't clear. To take voted the email out. To take the email out. Oh, the okay. minutes without the email. Minutes without the email. I voted against that. Right. 
it was no, it was three three. No, there's four. Who all voted against? Against taking the email out. Yeah. yeah. That we don't want the email in. Right, I voted for that. Right, so that's four. Ed, Mayor Pro Temp voted against. How did you vote? I voted the second time around. Huh? Right, without the email. For the second time. That's out. five. How did you vote? Well, five to one. To keep it in there? No. To keep the email in there? No, the, the, the motion was to keep the email out. Okay. So that was five one. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's go to the next item, which is a check presentation. The minutes. Okay. I make a motion. We approve the minutes. It's been motion. Second the motion. It's been motion and second. Any discussion? Discussion. Mayor Pro Temp. As I've stated before, until my complaint is allowed to be added to the minutes for a point of record. I will read my complaint into the minutes uh, at each meeting. Mayor Pro Tem Pearson stated, based on this information from the city attorney, he stated there are no violations of the law to discuss this personnel matter, which we are considering in regular meeting. I wanted this clarified <coughs> because Mayor Paul said we had to discuss it in executive session, but we don't. By the cover-up of a committee <coughs> not abiding by the law, Mayor Pro Tem Pearson also stated that when she learned of the incident concerning Commissioner Moore, she contacted City Manager Jacobs and informed him of the incident, and he stated to her that he had learned of it a day or two ago from Chief Castellos, and he informed Chief Castellos if Mayor Pro Tem Pearson learns of this, there's going to be a problem. This complaint is because I have been informed by several employees that the officer was told he was not going to issue Commissioner Moore a citation for his two offenses, and it was best that he destroyed the incident report. Since Mayor Pro Tem Pearson has, has disclosed all of this information, the officer has been forced to complete a false report, stating that Commissioner Moore did proceed down the road he was previously instructed, which is untrue. Commissioner Moore stated to Commissioner McNeil, according to Commissioner McNeil, in the executive session <coughs> that he did in fact go down the road. The officer instructed him not to go down. Various employees have stated this as well. In addition, Mayor Paul and City Attorney Adams allowed Commissioner Moore to sit in at executive session <coughs> and participate in a discussion regarding himself, Moore, and the incident of the police officer and an investigation being conducted into the matter. <coughs> there was a discussion in the executive session regarding this matter, and the consensus of the group was three commissioners, Roper, Durham, and Pearson, in favor of the investigation, and three commissioners, Guy, McNeil, and Moore, not in favor of an investigation, with Mayor Tony Paul stating he was not going to do anything, not support for or against an invest investigation to the matter. Mayor Pro Tem, Olivia Pearson. That's my discussion. Read into the uh, meeting for the minutes a second time, or third, whichever it is. Okay. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Uh, all opposed? Opposed approval of the uh, minutes due to its fault. They are false. Outstanding. Uh, motion carries. Next, we have the items placed on.